tonight's opening statement, the five things you should not do if you're in a car wreck? Well, uh, you know, last week we said that workers' compensation folks, those are the most common injuries. Mm -hmm. I, car wrecks are a close second. And, and just from our experience, let me give you some advice on what not to do. And I know our guest tonight will, will agree with this, especially if you're in a, an automobile wreck with a tractor trailer. Mm -hmm. The common industry practice today is for the truck driver to try to get you to sign a form that's already pre-printed that he or she keeps in the cab of their truck where you acknowledge the wreck was your fault. And you would be amazed at the number of people that are conned into signing those. So don't sign anything at the scene that discusses whose fault it is because those same drivers are told not to admit fault if it is their fault. Hmm. The second thing I'd want to point out is, look, if you're injured, you need to go get it checked out. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the most common things we see, Lynn, is that you don't go to a doctor for about a week, and there's a lot of good reasons for that, mm -hmm. but the insurance industry will hold that against you. They will say, look, you didn't get hurt for seven days after the wreck. Are you really trying to mm -hmm. tell us that you were injured because of that car wreck? So look, if you're feeling pain, go get checked out because many times, as you know, you won't even really experience the severity of the pain until two to four days after the wreck. Mm -hmm. So that's just some of the advice. Take good photographs, seek the guidance, the legal guidance free of charge from someone who can guide you through the process.